the podium, so let's check out the highlights of this one. And that shot alone, Ian, reminds you of just how deep in the pack Tom Pickcock had to come from. For sure, even Ronhard didn't make the best of starts. Got kind of yeah. caught out getting off the line, but yeah, Pickcock not even in shot. But he used this cobbled climb to move through around this huge group of riders very early on in the race, already up to fifth, sixth position after kind of half a lap of racing. I think that's what, it's, well, it's one of the things that is so exceptional about Tom Pidcock, isn't it? That he seems to be able to uh, to get through packs like that without getting caught up racing anybody else. He's still traveling at the speed that the front guys are traveling at. For sure, <laughs> maybe even faster to catch them up. So, uh, yeah, but then that chain problem set him back once again. I think being the rider he is, he doesn't panic. Huge self-belief and confidence in his own ability. Saw a small slip for camp there. And that's when Ron Ha took off, left his teammate Newenhouse. And this is when Pidcock really settled into his own tempo, looked very, very controlled at this stage of the race. And gradually picked off the riders one by one. Yep, the alarm bells were ringing at this stage. He blasted straight past Newenhaus. It looked like he knew nothing about that pass. And then, next stop, end of the line, front of the race. Ron Hart dug deep for a lap and a half or so. There was this bobble that allowed Pidcock to close down the gap through this section in particular. The Englishman was very, very fast. And then came the move. We saw the head dip momentarily. Pickcock lit the blue touch paper. He really, he did the damage over the, the next half lap or so that followed, didn't he? He certainly did. He got his head down, went all in, and then just derailed ever so slightly with that front wheel puncher. But as we said, just before the pits, very, very lucky in terms of having a puncher there. Quick bike change, got going again. Ron Ha never really looked like he was able to get Pidcock back. Yeah. Newenhouse, quieter day for him today. Third place. As I say, though, another podium this season for him. Congratulations. Um, mission accomplished, or what are your words? Yeah, it was uh, not simple, but um, yeah, I can be happy with that. I uh, learned from the last time I raced here, you know, it's um, the last laps are the, where it really counts. And, uh, you know, if you if you go too deep in the start, you make mistakes in the end and uh, you, you can lose 30 seconds easy. So I was just waiting, waiting, and, uh, and then I went, but then I punctured and then I had to go again. So it was, um, yeah, I was, I was never sure. No. Did you always believe you could win today? Um, I thought this after uh, my chain got stuck. Um, that, uh, and I came back. I thought, okay, yeah, yeah, today's, yeah, I have, I have a chance. But it was, it was not easy. Like I said, you know, it, it's a course where you, you can't really go in the red. This is your second race, and you're already win it. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't complain. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice start, I guess. What did you do as a preparation, pure for cyclocross? Uh, one training session and then I raced yesterday. So this is phenomenal. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised actually. I think uh, yesterday, yeah, my technique was already pretty good. I mean, I, I rode my mountain bike a bit, <laughs> these, uh, these Sunday rides. But yeah, on my cross bike, not much. Um, uh, you know, but I, yeah, I think, think I had a, quite a long period training maybe six weeks, I think, and my, my base is, is pretty good, so. Is this gonna change something uh, according to your program? Um, no, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, I think I, I do a good Christmas period and then I, I take a little break before altitude. Good luck with it, and congratulations once again. Yeah, thank you all. Well, just about the only thing he missed time today at the end of his own national anthem. Caught out by that.